Hello. Nice to meet you with another Primora PC lesson. This lesson related to how to load resource to our project. Basically, at the first of project, we should load our resource to our project. After we define our activity like this, we can load the resource to each activity. Your, your resource could be labor, non-labor, or material. It's up to your activity. But how to define the resource? At the first, you should add your resource over here and the resource created over here. You should use hierarchy if you need and you can edit it by using control arrow key or use these tools over here also you can use general tab and define your general information about your resource for instance resource ID resource name employer ID title email address office phone and push active check mark for active resource also you can load your code resource code over here it's defined based on your project on your company policy and what is the detailed information about your resource your resource could be labor, non-labor, or material. This is the sign of labor resource. If I change it to the non-labor, the sign is change. And if I use the material, the sign is change again. So, the sign of resource ID specify your resource type and if you use material you can use unit of measure or your material resource over here if you need to define more unit of measure you can introduce it to the software by admin tab also you can use what is the currency and overtime over here be careful about your resource calendar you can define it over here or or create personal calendar over here default unit time work for your resource over here and what is the unit price for the resource you can define what is the effective data of your resource and what is the standard rate of resource price what is the external rate of your resource price internal rate of resource price and two other price over here we can rename them by admin tab over here also if your resource have a rule and it's not related to the material because material does not have any rule you can define it over here 
and assign it. If I change the filter, you can see what is the rule on my Primavera P6. For note, you can use modify, create your note, over here, OK, push the OK button, or print the note. But how the standard rate and extend external rate works. I loaded two resources to my project with name of resource one and resource two. I changed the filter to the current project resource, so P6 filter them and a standard rate is 100 external rate is 150 let me to show you budget non labor cost is zero I split the page resource A and resource B. A standard rate of resource A 120 and I recalculate the resource price. You can recalculate cost assignment over here. If I go to activity sheet, you can find budget non labor cost over here. This resource, this activity budget is one, and budget non labor cost is 100 euro because the resource price is 100, which I define over here. Resource B is 100 euro per hour so if I go to activity sheet inquiry preparation use one hour and my budget cost is 100 euro so my budget non labor cost is 100 euro for this personal proposal received budget non-labor unit is 2 so my budget non-labor cost is 200 euro and according to this calculation my project budget non-labor cost is this digit I hope this lesson is useful for you I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram for further lesson. Thank you.